physical examination in physical examination we check special tests for frozen shoulder near test speed test hawkins kennedy test drop arm test overhands active compression test impetic can test appreciation test lift off test applies sketch test now i am describe one of the one number one nearest test in nearest test you look at picture place hand on physiotherapist place hand on patient's scapula and other hand other hand on forearm you look at this picture patient fully internally rotates thumb pointed down passively forward flex arm through full range of motion pain impeachment now speed test speed test technique to perform the speed test the examiner places the patient's arm in shoulder flexion external rotation full elbow extension forearm supination then the examiner manual resist manual resistance applied by the examiner in a downward direction this is a speed test the test is considered to be positive if pain in the bicep bicepital tendon or bicepital groove is reproduced a speed test is used to test for superior labral or bicepital tendinitis now hawkins kennedy impeachment test patient's arm in 90 degree of shoulder flexion with elbow flexed then internally rotates the arm you look at this picture the test is considered to be positive if the patient experiences pain with internal rotation when patient internal rotate the forearm then test will be positive if pain considered drop arm test rotator cuff tear abducted arm slowly lower because weakness of this muscle o'brien's active compression test in this picture you look at the patient arm flexed to 90 degree arm cross arm abducted 10 to 15 degree and elbow extended maximum pronation resist downward force examiner resist downward force to patient arm if positive test if painful this activity now empty can test in this test the patient 90 degrees of shoulder flexion internal rotation 30 degree of horizontal abduction the examiner downward pressure is applied on patient's arm positive test weakness and pain are assessed in this test appreciation test the appreciation test is used to test the integrity of the glenohumeral joint capsule or to assess glenohumeral inability in an anterior direction in this test the examiner flex the patient's elbow to 90 degrees abduct the patient's shoulder to 90 degrees maintaining neutral rotation 
the examiner then slowly applies an external rotation force to arm to 90 degrees. You look at this picture. The examiner then slowly applies an external rotation force to arm to 90 degrees. Positive test. Patient appreciation from this man if you are not pain is considered a positive test. This is a appreciation test. Now the lift off test. Patient in a standing position places the dorsum of hand on the back. The, pa the patient then lifts the hand away from back. Look at the picture. Patient then lifts the hand away from the back. If patient is able to do, then load pushing on hand is done by examiner to check the strength. Applies Scotch test. In this test, abduction and external rotation are measured by having the patient each behind the head and touch the superior aspect of opposite scapula. External rotation and abduction. Second picture, look at internal rotation and adduction. And third last one picture, internal rotation and adduction. This is the applied scotch test.